Welcome to Jackal Digital, I'm Simon and let's make a nice looking and spinning circle timer in DaVinci Resolve 16. And this is what we'll be doing. It has the spinning circle, the timer and everything. We could use a paint node with the background with the polyline selected and then use the return function to easily animate. But as you can see it's not that easy to make a circle. And even if you do manage to make one, we'll spend a lot of time doing it. So let's take a look at the easy way, although it's a janky way. I'll go into details in just a bit, but the quick way on how to do it without knowing how everything works is this. Use rectangle, a background and a coordinate space node. Adjust the height of the rectangle to what the thickness you want it to be. Set the width to 1. In the background, change the color to what you want or use a gradient. Go into the image settings, uncheck the outer resolution and make sure that these values are the same. I chose 1080. In the coordinate space node, as a shape choose polar to rectangular. To animate the rectangle, position it either to minus 0 0.5 or to 1.5 at the start. And at the end of the animation, go to the other side. So, minus 0 0.5 or 1.5, depending on which one you didn't use at the beginning. You can then add some glowing nodes and the text node with the expression that shows seconds. And to finish it all off, you can apply a transfer node to either just set where the animation should start or to animate the whole animation minus the text. That's how I make a circle timer without having to know why we did all of the changes that we did. But now I'll explain why we did them, so stick around to find out. Make a rectangle and a background node and change the color of it to what you want. Adjust the height of the rectangle and set the width to 1. You set it to 1 so it fills up the whole screen. Then I to reposition it to the left. As you can see, it's minus 0 0.5 or to the right, and it's 1.5. And adjust the Y position accordingly. This you can also adjust later. Now we'll add the coordinate space. With this node, we'll make this a circle. All you have to do is select the shape to be polar to rectangular. When you change the Y position, it also changes the thickness a little bit and how thick the circle is. But as you can see, it's still not a circle. This is why you have to go to the background and in the image tab, uncheck the auto resolution and have these two values be the same. I chose 1080 as the width and 1080 as the height. Now we have a full circle. And the animation is pretty much done. Well, we have to animate it first. So 1.5. And I'll animate this. And go two seconds in. Go to the other side. Minus 0 0.5. And now the animation is pretty much done. We still have to loop the animation, so go to the spline. Have the rectangle selected, displacement, select both keyframes, right click, set loop and choose loop. Now the animation is continuous throughout the whole clip. And if we increase the clip, we're sure it the animation will last until the end of it. Then you can add some special effects like the glowing notes. And in case the effect would show up when it's not supposed to, just take the rectangle and increase the starting and the ending point so it's outside of the frame. Then all you have to do is add a text node with an expression, right click in the starlight text and choose expression and type in the expression that we have. If you want to know more about the expressions and how to display the time, check the previous video. Lastly, you can use a transform node before you add the text, so the text is not spinning, to add some spinning animation. So you can either use 270 or minus 90 degrees so the animation starts at the top where what you can do is that the animation also starts at zero and in two seconds when it ends 
и это оно да за 360 so if you want to have the transform animation going the direction of the rectangle you have to use minus 36 degrees if the rectangle is going from the right to the left side we use 360 degrees if it goes from left to right if you do the opposite instead of this animation we have a C type animation or a Pac-Man animation and then again all you have to do is go to the spline select the angle click this button to show all the keyframes that you have select them and set the loop to loop did you like the video? give it a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so don't miss my next video. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital!